Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We finally hit the 30 episode mark. Congratulations, everybody, for somehow sticking with it. We've got a little more work to do. Pay attention to this specific spot if you're interested in evolving a certain type of Pokemon that has many evolution types. I don't want to spoil it. So here we go. Continuing north still as we try to find Barry. We did a lot of fights last time. I didn't really want to overwhelm that video. It was getting kind of heavy and dense. So we're breaking it up. I'm not breaking up with all of you, don't worry. This wonderful let's play relationship still going strong. But we're getting close to Lake Acuity, which is nice. Should be there very soon to bail Barry out. Even though we really shouldn't have to do that. Not because I believe in Barry, but because of the idea of a professor sending a small child into an environment like that is kind of insane. So you can see where Professor Rowan's priorities lie. He is trying to actively get us murdered. So that's cool, right? Makes you wonder though, what's kind of going on up there? Because we're at a point where at least insofar as this state of the game, it's clear that Team Galactic has all the legendary Pokemon, so I can't imagine what more work there really is to do. So, who knows? Hopefully there's not too many shenanigans up there and we can help Barry out. Hopefully there's a chance for us to heal in between that time, that'd be really nice. We're a little, oh, an Onyx Knowing Curse, that's interesting. Curse is one of those moves that historically was the question mark, question mark, question mark type. For ghost types, it would be used as a status effect. It would take some of your health every turn, but for any other Pokemon that can somehow use it, Onyx, it lowers their speed and raises their attack and defense, which I think is a weird combo, but if you're already slow and kind of useless like an Onyx, then I guess Curse is actually a pretty good move. So, more power to you if that's what you're into. Live your dreams. Don't let me tell you what to do. But we're doing well. We're almost out of the snowy tundra. It's kind of a metaphor for my real life, you know? Like I'm almost out of the dead of winter. As I'm recording this, today is the, the second day of March. I had to really think about that. Oh man, that brave bird almost killed us. That would be horrible. Using a move that does recoil damage and you accidentally kill yourself. Whoops. Wouldn't want that. Oh no. Achoo, yeah, really, like, the cold, I don't mind it, like, I don't mind the temperature of the cold, but I'll tell you what, like, it makes my nose run like nobody's business. How do I do... I'm never gonna remember this. Alright, let's swap out some Pokemon while we're at it. Some of our Pokemon are getting a little bit higher in level, and I want to make sure that things are fair. So let's go ahead and bring Sammy in there, the old Samuel. Let's go ahead and get Sharon. I don't know if I'd necessarily say that I have Pokemon that are like a specific fit for what I'm trying to do, but you know, the ones that are higher level, I'll try to swap them out for the ones that are lower level and everybody at least is 30. So that's pretty good. I feel like this type diversity is enough to, to get us going. What does it say? Okay, so we're on the right track as we muddle through the snow. And there's just so many battles in this area. I mean, I get that it's probably important because we're going to wind up having to fight a gym soon, I would imagine. If I had to guess. But in general, there's just so many that I don't really feel like the game gives you a break. It doesn't give you a chance to breathe. It's a little annoying. But I mean, I guess battling is kind of the fun part of these games. It's what I enjoy the most. Makes me think of... Uh, how games like Pokemon Let's Go, the one that was the recreation of red, blue, green, yellow, whatever. How that one didn't have any Pokemon battles in it, which kind of sucked. You would just catch them. And that was it. And I feel like, you know, this is this is very much like your rote standard. Ooh, I don't have anything for a seeking. Oh boy. Um 
Well, you know what, Sharon? Do your best. Anyway, the battles are different in the way that they're handled. In pretty much every Pokemon game, there's always some sort of a some sort of a, a gimmick or a dynamic that and that that's a beefy fish. The chicken of the sea. Um, and it makes me think about how every game does it a little differently, which is fine. But it always has me wondering, like, is any game going to really hit that sweet spot where it's like a good mixture of battling Pokemon, a good mixture of battling trainers, that open world approach, you know, because I feel like that's what Let's Go pioneered is the idea of being able to walk around in the overworld and see what's around you. I feel like that's kind of a nice, nice treat. And they included it in this game a little bit in the underground. You are alive, aren't you? Well, only on the outside. Anyway, so it's just one of those situations where there are so many different combinations. Also, that powder snow effect was really cool. Ooh, a Snover. That's a unique Pokemon to this game. Let's go ahead and catch it just for fun. I don't know if I'll use a Snover, but it looks neat and it's very intimidated. I also like that Snover being a Pokemon has different color types depending upon which one you get. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't really want to Snover that badly. Everything about that was bad though. Didn't catch it. Took damage. Not experience I didn't want. Alright, well we're at the Accurate Lake front. Ooh, there's like the goons of these other items in these spots, please. Eh? No. Great. Well, I'm assuming they don't want us to go in there. Okay. Ah, the Snow Point Gym Leader. Mmm. I wonder what they're all about. Okay. Well, I guess we'll meander that way. We're headed to Snow Point City anyway. With our Ultra Ball. But yeah, I think that every Pokemon game has their own unique battling system, which some of them do well and some of them don't. And I wish they could just kind of take the best parts of all of it, you know. Okay, we made it to Snow Point City. The city of snow, if you couldn't guess. Wow. Who would have thought? Yeah, whatever. You're probably all freezing and you're trying to make up for it. This guy doesn't even have a coat on. Look at him. Sleeveless sailor. There's nothing here and that's what makes us unique. Just like the majority of the middle of the United States. Okay. So we do have the snow point gym. I think we can actually go for it now. I don't remember if there's a berry fight before that, but that wouldn't be very cool. So we'll see. Also two of my Pokemon now caught with dusk balls looking pretty heckin cool. I can tell you that a lot of this team is not going to be useful for the snow point gym. So I'll probably wind up swapping them out. I also love the aesthetic of them showing that there's like a little bit of frost on the windows. That's really nice. Nice touch. Ooh, this lady's stuck. Candace. Candace is teaching you about Pokemon. Candace, in your mouth. Okay. Says you have to start making friends. You do whatever you want. Don't let her tell you what to do. Goodness. The Snow Point Temple. Huh, I wonder what could be in there. Mm. Can this Pokeball fit in your mouth? Anyway, let's see what we got in these uh, in these houses. Little Torchic. I don't know how I feel about that. Also, I'm pretty sure that if you do have a Metacham and you trade it for that Haunter, the Haunter has an Everstone, so you are not getting a Gengar. I'm pretty sure that's the gimmick of that one. Kind of a jerk move, but I get it. Aw, oh, thanks. Now our balls can burn. We love that. Someday I'll get to putting stickers on my balls, I promise. Do I know a trendy saying? Electrode. Yes. What if I say brilliant? Okay. How about this? If it's not this fourth one, then I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, great. That was a waste. Awesome. Thanks, game. That probably is something. I have no idea what it is. But this is the Snow Point Temple, which I don't think we're going to be allowed to go in yet. We are not the chosen one. 
And this snow must be really deep if it's going all the way up to our neck. My goodness. All right, let's go in this gym and see if we can make something. Oh, not this one. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Prepare yourselves, everybody. This is a lot of fun. Huh? I do see these big balls. We need to just slide into these big balls. Okay. Bear down and focus. Whatever. Yes. So the gimmick of this gym is that it's a sliding puzzle. Yay! You love sliding puzzles, don't we, everybody? This guy's so cold, he can't feel his tongue. Sergio. Makes me think about when I'm cold. That's not a nice type Pokemon. I also have nothing for water type, so I probably should get Bart and Steven back here ASAP. Every matchup that I have is going to be horrible, relatively speaking. But anyway, when I'm cold, one of the things that I like to do is have a nice hot chocolate. But I always make the mistake of being a little bit too aggressive and burning my tongue. And there's nothing worse in the world when you're trying to enjoy a nice, tasty treat than to burn your tongue. It ruins it immediately. And then you can't taste anything. But hot chocolate is good. It's one of the only real hot drinks that I that I will drink. I'm not a coffee guy. So I like coffee flavored things like coffee adult sodas, you know, a coffee stout is nice, coffee porter, but in general, not a huge fan of coffee, anything else. Okay, let's see what we got here. Should we do some Sneasel on Sneasel Crime? Yeah, we should. Why not? But yeah, hot chocolate is very good. You can put a whole bunch of good things in hot chocolate, like marshmallows. That's fun. You could do, uh, what else could you do? You fool. I'm also a Sneasel. Why would you do that? I think it's a male Sneasel because it's weird forehead feather is a lot, lot larger than mine, but we are more cooler, so it's fun. Hone Claws, is that a speed up move? Yes. Oh, it's an attack up move and accuracy, but it's a waste, oh, bump off, get out of here. This is gonna hurt. Okay, but Suzanne survives? I'm actually going to do my best not to get too involved with the gym puzzle here. So that way I can dip out and heal before I go back and face Candace. Being completely candid about how I want to face Candace. Okay. Bone Claw seems like a pretty good move. It's kind of like a... Uh, kind of sounds like a swords dance, which is nice. I appreciate being able to attack more better. I like that. Okay. So I'm going to make do with what I have. I'm going to try to finish off this gym with just the team present. Just by virtue of them needing some levels and it's only fair. I also really enjoy the ice puns that they keep referencing. That's nice. So I believe we need to take out this entire... Oh my gosh, I just have nothing for this gym. What am I doing? I'm trying to brute force it. That's what I'm doing. And I have a feeling that they all probably know ice moves, so there's a lot, a lot of Pokemon on my team that are very weak to that. That's pretty uncool. Also, it would be raining inside if they used that, and I feel like that would make me incredibly uncomfortable. Not happy about that. Yeah, I just don't really have any, uh, I don't have any rock moves. I don't know if the water typing of Pelipper would cancel out a rock move, but we'll see if Samuel's ancient power can do the trick. Yeah, and in those ice beams, so it's gonna nuke the majority of my team, which is really annoying. Okay, rock moves very effective. Even super effective, you might say. Nice, but I don't think that ancient power is particularly good coming out of Samuel. I'm pretty sure it's a special move. Samuel's more of a physical attacker, so it's not, it's not great, but that's okay. Samuel hasn't really had a ton of screen time so we'll get him a little bit of a little bit of that spotlight and Pelipper is weird I didn't get to finish my story about pelicans the other day when I was recording and 
Blabbering? Ooh, Golduck. Yeah, once again, nothing good for it. Oh, man. I don't know. They just have... Yeah, this is tough. Um, we'll see if Charlie can outspeed it and then punch it really hard. Maybe? That's the downside to a gym like this, is that you'd expect it to just be ice types, but sometimes they do have water types, because water types often learn ice moves, which makes it a little tough. Sometimes you just have to use the nuclear option, like a good close combat. We have pelicans, terrifying. I remember I was at the beach when I was a kid, collecting seashells to sell by the seashore. And, uh, okay, Steelix, what? I guess it's a good choice that I use Charlie after all. But the downside is that my attack is going to be nuked a little bit because of Steelix still having the drizzle present. I guess Steelix didn't do it, but if you could not, and then there's Ice Fang, I guess like, okay, I get it. But yeah, Pelicans, very aggressive. I was in the water playing around and I remember it just kind of swooped around to me because it was trying to get some fish and they're huge and loud. Yeah, pretty scary. Ugh, if you have Sturdy, you... You would. You would have... Oh, no. Hang in there, Charlie! Okay. Still alive, still doing okay for now. Hopefully we're still faster than a Steelix. Let's use the Shadow Claw. We haven't tried that yet. That's a cool move. Felt appropriate for if we ever have any Psychic types that are trying to give us a hard way to go. We'd be like, ha! Huh, I'm gonna take down your fighting monkey. I'm like, mm mm mm. Because my claws are made out of shadows. That's right. How's that feel, Savannah? Your warm boots? Your boots with the fur, perhaps? Are you wearing Uggs? I know that those are popular. With the youth? Okay. I also don't know off the top of my head how to solve the gym puzzle, so. We will see. Although I have seen that there might be a way around it. Unless it's been patched out, in which case I'd be very sad because I want to show something cool. There might be a little bit of a... A little bit of a cheatsy cheat. To get to Candace. Snow warning. Snowbody liked that. Alright. So we're doing amazing. Oh. Is it super effective for uh, close combat? I thought it was a grass and... Oh, I guess the ice type, that would make sense. Yeah, that's, you know, common sense. But as you can tell, we're kind of right in line with the levels of the Pokemon in this area. I like that I speak with my hands while I record Let's Plays like you can all see them. It's probably for the best that you don't. But, uh, yeah, in general, we're right around the level of where we need to be. So, we're doing well. All the Pokemon that we are encountering so far, whether it be the wild ones, the wild, wild ones, or just the, uh, just the trainers. Oh, you get by with a little help from your friends. I remember how fun it was when I was a kid to find your one friend at school that had the link cable and you could sneak your Game Boy in during recess and try to play. And now everything is just done over Wi-Fi's and Bluetooth's and whatever. Kids these days. It's a lot easier than it used to be, that's for sure. Back in my day, it's, one of the, it's like there's a good and a bad side to everything, you know, like as society progresses, as things get easier, as things get better in certain ways, some some ways they also kind of get worse. I mean, you're more we're more connected now than we've ever been, like literally, you know, with devices and whatnot. You know, you can you can trade Pokemon with anybody in the world if you want to. Remember how cool that was in this game when they came up with the uh, Global Trade Center, and I was like blown away by that as a kid. I was like, this is amazing. You could exchange friend codes and then like do like voice chat as you're battling somebody. I remember I did that with my original DS. It was just like a stranger, like some other kid. I have no idea who it was. But it's those kinds of things that are amazing as things progress and things get better. Ooh, Quagsire is big. 
but I also think that it's kind of like, as we're more connected to people from farther away, I feel like we do lose a little bit of the element of what it's like to be connected to people near us. So like, you know, you might be able to reach out to people from all around the world, but I think less time is spent physically in person with, peop with people and, you know, sharing those moments and memories and whatnot. That's how I feel. I mean, it's not meant to sound like all like defeatist and stuff. I'm sure there are plenty of moments. This is not going to go well. What am I thinking? Oh no. Okay. Well, we're about to eat a big fat ice beam and waste a, oh no. Nice. Good job, Raymond. Everybody loves you. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything good. I guess Samuel can get in there and just waste, waste some time, but you know, being more connected to the people around you as you get older and you move away or, you know, you start a family and you're somewhere else. I think that that's, it's always good to be able to have those connections that maybe you wouldn't before. Cause like if somebody back in the day just kind of moved on and like left your area, there wasn't really a good way to stay in touch besides like maybe calling them. But now we have like 18 million forms of communication for better or for worse, you know? There's pros and cons to everything. I guess I just wouldn't take the past for granted. Always playing those Game Boy games, whether it was like Pokemon or Zelda or like any game that you had where you would uh, you would use a link cable and stuff. Like all of that to me was always really fun. I really enjoyed that. I don't know who I haven't fought yet. Did I fight the one in the corner? Can't even get up there yet. How do I get over there? This way? Did I fight you? Can I go up here? No. I don't know what I'm doing! How do I... Great. Yeah. This is just one of those gym puzzles that just really sucks. And I don't like it. Uh, did I break this? Okay, that's not a thing. Ooh, there we go. Yes. Now I can fight this woman. Okay. We're doing it. I want to wipe everybody out before I come back into the gym and make a fool of myself. Yes. Ooh, we can do a Sneasel on Sneasel fight again. That's fun. Although my entire team is very banged up right now. Starting with... Sh oh. It would have been nice to have Sharon intimidate it. Okay, and Suzanne's doing rough. Why have Samuel... Why have Samuel hang in there for a moment? Give everybody else on the team a, a chance to to breathe, have a nice glass of milk. You know, why not? Yes, good job, Samuel. You're doing great. I still don't need it to say it's awaiting my instructions every time. Like, I get it once or twice. Sure. Every time is a little, uh, a little annoying. Ooh. That's a sexy sneeze. Ooh, never mind. Rule 34, no thank you. All right, and, um, yeah, maybe let's give some to Raymond. I wanted to do a Sneasel on Sneasel fight, but I feel like if I swap out, it could be, uh, it could be a dangerous choice. But I do like that Samuel, like the other Pokemon that I fought in this gym so far, is thick. Samuel's very thick. Which I guess would make sense. This is, I don't know, I guess, I don't know what I'm saying. Are slugs thick or whatever it's supposed to be? A sea slug or something like that? I don't know much about that. But here we go. Tracked. That is another status condition. Kind of in the same vein as like confusion. Where it's not like actually a status condition, but um, if it's a, if you're an opposite gender of the Pokemon that you have, and they use attract, you'll see the result is that we get immobilized by love. So we are in love with this Sneasel right now. Samuel needs to Keep it together. Stop worrying about this infatuation. We have time after the gym for you to, to be in cahoots, okay? But right now, no time for that. I got no time for that. This is gonna be one of those videos though where at the very least I'm gonna be able to structure it as the gym battle basically being the majority of the video, which is what I was trying to do in the past. But I kind of goofed with 
the cantilave gen. That was one of the ones where I didn't do that quite correctly. And so I have to pad it out a little bit in a different way. I would love to be able to just attack once. Just one time. I feel like one will do it. And, uh, you know, we're just eating attacks right now. Oh my gosh, how long does this last? That was like six straight turns of not being able to do anything. That's unfair. But we muddied the waters with this Sneasel, and we are no longer in love. Thank goodness. I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel bad. Okay, and we have a Tentacruel. Ooh, Tentacruel is water and poison? So Grayson does have ground type moves. I don't know if ground is going to be able to be effective against the poison of the Tentacruel with the water subtype. We will find out. Tentacruel is awesome. It's a cool looking Pokemon. It's very weird. It makes me think back to... Um, there's that episode where they're at the uh, they're at the beach. Or like I think it's like a uh, like a one-off episode. I don't think it had anything to do with the actual story of the game, not the game, the television show. So they uh, they're at the beach, and there's like this massive this massive tentacruel that's like destroying everything. Like it's much larger than a normal one should be. So I think it's interesting. Okay, now as long as this tentacle doesn't know anything ice type, we'll be okay. I think we can survive this. Yes. Getting Grace in some action. It's probably the only action he'll get in this episode because being a dragon and ground type is a recipe for failure. So we will not do that. We will use the term recipe for failure, the phrase recipe for failure correctly. Okay. So I think that's everybody. In the gym, maybe? How do I get out of here? Okay, I'm gonna have to try. I don't wanna have to cut away, um, but I would like to leave. So if you could allow me to do that, that would be excellent. I think this will get me out of here, maybe? Yes, okay. So that's the, uh, Where's the Pokemon Center? Uh, I forget where anything is. Okay. So we are going to heal. Eventually, when I find it. I don't remember any of my directions. It's a cardinal sin to not remember your cardinal directions. So we're going to heal up really quick and then we will determine who our, our team will be. It's exciting. I actually don't know what the team is that she has. So I will go to the boxes and see what my choices are. So Sharon caught up in levels pretty well, actually. See what Sharon's attack stat and speed. Do a little bit of an evaluation. I'm trying to figure out if I want to use Sharon or Miguel here. Looks like Sharon's being a, you know, a multiple level evolution or multiple stage evolution Pokemon is a little bit slower, but it hits harder. I feel like we're going to want Steven just by virtue of the types of moves that we're going to be dealing with here. Nobody else is going to really be that effective. And I don't know if they're going to have any water types, but I feel like Steven can take care of that. This looks like a pretty good team here. I'm gonna make sure everybody has an item though. Who has the uh, the quick claw? Yes. Okay, great. I feel like the team in, in and of itself is pretty fast, but I wanna swap out. We'll do the quick claw for, what is this? Oh, that's dumb. Okay, we're gonna give the Quick Claw to Sharon. Yes. Very good. And I feel like everything else that we're doing so far, that'll work out. We got the Magnet, we have the Charcoal. We have the Quick Claw, so hopefully that'll mitigate kind of the speed issue that we're having. Charlie is the fastest on the... Ooh, okay. I love that I have like the 
the natures that are just horrible. Like, nothing that I have nature-wise is good for these Pokemon. <sighs> and Steven actually is slower, but having that Magnet is nice. Being able to just nuke stuff if I need it. But here we go! Back into the gym. You know what? I'm gonna save, because I feel like it. Yay! I only have 35 more Pokemon to find, I think. Which is exciting. Alright, so that was nothing? Great. Need to try to solve this puzzle here. Maybe? Okay, so there's that. Not confident in how to solve this at all. I'm hoping that maybe I won't have to. Because I know that there is a bit of a, a glitch, but they might have patched it out. So I don't want to get too excited and start sharing a bunch of info about it if I'm wrong. So you'll just have to wait and see a moment as I bumble through this, as I tender through this. Okay, so far so good. You just have to knock these big old balls out of the way and, you know? I don't know. Okay. I feel like this is not nothing. Okay, yes, I was correct. This is just like that stupid puzzle when we had to fight Maylene. Ugh. Like, who thought that was fun? The answer is nobody. Nobody thought that was fun, Game Freak. We don't need it. Okay. Ooh. Look at that. We already got the middle cleared up. I don't know how to get that one. I feel like I need to get to the other siding to bring it around town. This is going better than I thought. I'm gonna say that, and then in about five seconds, I'm gonna get super lost and uh, make no progress. So, there's that one. Okay, then I have to be able to get up and around, because I did fight that guy already. So, I have been able to make it to him before. Let's see how we do that. Oh, it's a lady. It's a lady! Ladies, sup ladies, okay. Um, I don't, I don't remember what I did like five minutes ago. This is bad. Uh, there's a stop pad right there. I remember seeing something that's like, well, maybe it's not this spot, but there is a way to cheese this, I think. So I will be getting it. Not the cheese, but I will be. I would love some cheese right now, but um, we need to focus. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I think this is. What is this one? No, that didn't do it. Okay. How did I get up there then? What did I do? Yeah, this is gonna be great. Don't worry about me. Uh, totally not knowing what to do here. Okay, we already did that. It's gonna be a moment where I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to keep at this for a couple more seconds and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to just probably cut to uh, me being at the gym later because this is a waste of time. I feel like it's like right in front of me and I'm just not paying attention to it. I'm not really using my brain here. I'm just kind of brute forcing it as I do a lot of things. Let's think about this logically for a second. I did fight that person, so I had to have gotten up there. Now, how on earth did I do it? I must have slid in from the other side. It's the only way that that checks out, because you can't go up. I just want to knock out that one, just get that big ball out of my life. Huh. You can't slide downstairs, I don't think. No. Okay. Oh boy. I just don't remember. Goodness. Goodness me. Poor old me. I don't know. Okay. You know what? It's all fun and games, everybody, until you get stuck in a gym sliding puzzle, so I will see you in a moment. Okay, everybody, so we're back. As you can tell, I'm doing great. There was the one little thing that I kind of forgot. Is that, uh, yeah. 
you have to start from the beginning of the start pad. I wasn't really paying attention to that, but that's okay. Start from the start pad, and that knocks off that one last remaining snowball. I'm kind of nervous to start with Sharon, oh boy. This gym makes me nervous. And then you can just walk right on up to Candace and show her who's boss, here we go. And she's speaking in third person, great. So she's so focused. Very aggressive, not afraid to neg us. Does she have a sweatshirt tied around her waist? Yes, she does. Oh, she has four Pokemon, I only have three, uh-oh. <laughs> Oops! This could be horrible. We're about to find out. Here we go, everybody. Will I be able to do it? I'm actually at a bit of a disadvantage here. I don't know. Does this start hail? Ah, that's right. That's gonna be annoying. Okay. Um, we're not a fighting type, and aerial ace is fast. So, let's see if we can take out a Snover with. That move, maybe it feels kind of even now. I guess that Snover was a bit of a gimme Pokemon. We leveled up, so that's good. A little bit more speed will always benefit us. Welcome to the Hail Buffet. Metacham. Ooh, I do have, uh, I do have Shadow Claw. So that's fun. I don't quite understand why a nice gym leader has a Metacham. There are so many ice type Pokemon that they could have chosen, but no. I don't know if Charlie is going to be strong enough to take it out in one hit, but we will try, and this, we might be slower. No. Okay, so not in one hit. Hopefully this doesn't have any psychic moves. I bet it does. This is probably a poor choice. Oh, and it wastes a turn with bulk up. Yes. That's a beaut. We'll take it. Okay. So it does have a little bit better defense now, but it's also buffeted by the hail, which is good. Hopefully one more Shadow Claw. Oh, get out of here. I mean, literally, that's what's happening. It's getting out of there, but. We actually have a pretty good advantage here. That Shadow Claw is not gonna do much, but we're doing okay, because we do have fighting moves, fire moves. Let's see. Actually, let's use a close combat, because that's stronger. Oh boy. Okay. We're gonna have to play, play some politics here, huh? You're gonna use Sneasel and you're gonna use Dig. You know what? I'm gonna switch into Sharon, because you're not digging. I'm a flying type, and I'm not digging you do that. So, mm -mm -mm. okay. And we can't use Intim- oh wait, we can use Intimidate. Wow, it's amazing. And we do actually have close combat too with Sharon, so. What is it? Get out of here with your dumb berries. Well, now you're dead and no one cares about you. How's that feel? Okay. The Choppleberry? It, oh, it, it it was trying to weaken that attack. I'm assuming they planned for it to be a, a fighting Pokemon that would come out and do some damage against it. Yeah, and you know what? Let's get, uh, let's get Steven there. All three Pokemon, although I should have had four. Oops. I'm just so good. I'm so OP and epic at this game that I only needed three. But we still have another another Pokemon to go. We can finally get some Intimidates off, which is nice. And how about the nuclear option? How about some Thunderbolt? Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Sorry, Medicham. Boop, done. See ya. All right, time for Candace's Ace. Let's see what we get. And lots of experience for all of our Pokemon, which is amazing. Fire Spin? Really? No. Fire Spin is still awful. Has always been awful. Okay. And her ace, if I am correct. Yes, it's Obama Snow. Thanks, Obama Snow. That's why all the bad things are happening to us in this game. But Obama Snow is the evolution as you'll see in a moment, of Snover. Oh, that was lame. If you're cheesy like me and you wanna use an icebreaker statement, 
when you go and meet people for the first time, like at a networking event, or if you're going to go on a date, maybe try this one or don't. Uh, how much does a polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice. You're welcome. Okay. So we'll see what a flamethrower can do. It might just be a one and done here. That would be awesome. This is quadruple weak to flamethrower. Yes. That was easy peasy. Obama Snow kind of looks like a Muppet. It's a great design. I have no idea what it is. I'm assuming an abominable snowman or snow person. That's right. Clap, clap, clap. How is her hair moving like that? Is there a vent under her? Yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Man, our badges are filthy. It's usually about a week or so in between me playing, so there's plenty of time for that muck and grime. And we can use rock climb. It's about time. 10 cents is a dime. And we have been rewarded with Avalanche. We take damage, the moves, power is doubled. Let's actually take a big, quick look. Actually, I have a couple things. Hail. It's a five, five turn hailstorm. That's cool. Rock Climb is the TM, HM, that uh, actually really powerful. I didn't know it was a normal type move, which is interesting. You can climb rocks, amazing. And then Avalanche, the power of this attack move is doubled if the user has been hurt by the target in the same turn. So let's go ahead and stand next to Candace as we always do. As we all. Oh. Okay. Sir Dominance. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and I'll see you next time. Bye.